What are those? These are our leaders that we'll be using. How long are they? Uh, these are probably about five feet with three shrimp flies on them. Below this, we'll have a 30 foot chunk of line so we're not being close to the bottom to uh, minimize catching yellow eye rockfish. Tell people what long leader is and uh, why. Why it's unique compared to inshore rock fishing? Yeah, long leader is more of a it's a midwater fishery, and it's fairly new in the grand scheme of things. And it's a basically a meat fishery. It's fun too because if you get two, three fish on at a time, it's they pull pretty hard you know, and have good action. But it's actually a lot of things. It's a life raft fishery because if anything happens to our inshore, we have that fishery as a backup. And, but it's also a meat fishery because you can keep 15 fish on this trip and fill your freezer too, where the normal inshore limit's gonna be five rockfish, two lean cut. So, this fishery has 15 fish and they're pretty good size too, so adds a lot of weight. Surf rider outbound the other way. So what's the worst thing that can happen in this fishery? Why is that? Uh, just a little bit of weather and not seeing the big schools right now. So I'm hoping it's a timing thing. Rockfish are going to be kind of weird and offshore too. Selective real stuff changes the game with this fishery though and all the other fisheries. So, But what people need to understand too is that you can always reel manually. Oh, you know? yeah. You can reel manually at any time. Well, so, one guy back there was going, well, I kind of like having the control of the thing. So you reel until you don't want to, and then you throttle it up when you, you know, are tired, whatever. So how's the, uh, the electric reels, how does it change the game? It just allows you to fish faster. What's your name? Steve. Steven. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Steven. I'm Grant. You do a lot of fishing on the Oregon coast or um, just once a year. Once a year? Okay. What's your favorite? Um, so far this right here and this right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Just watch the rod. So I have the camera on and then you'll see it just like do all hit at the same time or they might you know, they finally just one, one fish grabs it and then the other two grab it. So. Everybody's on. 
every rod. Job, you know? oh, thanks, That's how you do, right? That's what I do. some of those buoys out there once in a while, which is cool, but anyway, yeah, that was a good trip. The boat's I limited. Did. The boat's limited, yep. We got 15 fish a person heading in. And what time we is were it? Fishing, we were fishing for like two and a half hours or so. What and time is it now? 10.30. So we're headed back at 10.30. Yep. And we had pretty tough conditions out here today with the strong current and waves and stuff to battle. So, oh, there's a spot right there. Look at that on the fish finder. Let's get a new mark. So, you guys got to see what Long Leader is about today. If you guys are interested, you get a hold of Dockside Charters or book online, dockside.depotbay.com, and uh, try it out. We have. Uh, specific dates scheduled for these trips and uh, or you can call and gather more information but check it out it's a fun fishery That's it, huh? That's it. All right. Thanks, Carolyn. You're 
quality of these fish and the numbers, you come home with two full totes of fish. That's a lot of fish. Uh, Dockside also has vacuum packing or vacuum, vacuum sealing, vacuum packing. Well, Either way. Vacuum also. packing, so uh, you can keep those that quality product in the freezer. So, good deal. Look at Jim. That's good. Thanksgiving. Do you, do you, what's up with this? Victory dinner? Helping you, my girl, in a bigger. Fish. So, how do I like to cook rockfish? I mean, I, I go back and forth from just pan frying and a little bit of, you know, whatever seasoning you, you like. I like garlic, salt, and pepper, and uh, maybe a little smoked paprika or something like that. So great for fish tacos. Awesome for fish tacos. You can do it the pan frying and then put them in tacos, or you can, you know, just serve it over rice with a little tartar sauce. Or I like to do the quick, easy ones, a little bit of mayo, and then you mix uh, minced garlic up there, up with it, and then uh, Parmesan cheese, and uh, maybe a little bit of dill, and then just put a little bit on top of the fish and then bake it like 400 for 12 minutes. Super quick and easy. 